The following day, I'm having a motherfucking party with nothing but Crips. Nothing but Crips. The worst day she could have pulled up with her husband. <laughs> we, sh we we just throw it, like, Crips out the party, right? I'm on the balcony. Her and her husband pull up. She jump out of the car. Rock is in the garage. The garage is open. Mm -hmm. So she, when you pull up the garage, she just runs straight to the garage. I don't see how it starts, but I just see, oh, 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 oh. I'm on the balcony. So I'm like, oh, what's going on? So I come downstairs. Did you even know it was them? No, I didn't even know it was them. I, come, I just think it's a fight. Up. I come downstairs, Rock and my damn sister. So I'm like, okay, I'm late. They already got it in. I'm like, okay, leave, mm -hmm. sister, leave. Take your husband and leave right now, please. I guess my sister didn't get enough, so she's trying to keep going. So I tell her, I say, look, if you don't leave right now, your husband is going to fall victim to the situation because he's the only man here that we could hold accountable. I was, Same thing I feel like happened to you with her family, with Rock's family, right? So I understand. To point that out. It was so I understand. Thing. Right. So you never see I was his wife. Yeah, yeah, his like wife, let's go. Exactly. So if you, that's if what you I would have did. Yeah. If I was him, I would have like. If Yo. you don't get hurt, we on you. Yeah. So I would have got her like, I'm gonna beat your ass if they. Not beat everybody my ass. like Red Daddy. So come on, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody's like me. So if it was, if I was him, I would have got my wife and we would have left because it's uh, we're outnumbered. It's no winning here. Mm -hmm. Fuck your emotions and the points you're trying to prove. Our life is at risk. So I start warning her. I always warn people before it gets too crypt out. I say, yo, look, if you guys don't leave, your husband's gonna fall victim. He's the only man here. We're gonna beat his fucking face in because we can't beat you up. Keep saying that. Said it about three times. She's not hearing me. Her husband's hearing me, though. He's listening very good. So he attests to grab her. She socked this nigga. Boom! I said, oh, yeah, we're going to have to fuck him up because she, <laughs> she is not hearing him. She's I not, like how smooth you say it, though. You're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when she hit her husband, I said, oh, yeah, we're going to have to, like, put them down. Like, you just hit the man that came with you. Yeah. He's here with you by himself. Right. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. She hit him. He's like, oh my god. Um, he he realizes at that moment he's in the fucked up position. So I'm like, okay. So after he hit him, he eat it. Boom. He's like, come on. So he tries to take her more. She move him out the way. One of my crib homies, he come up, mushed him in his face. After that, her husband was was done. Yeah. He was. I didn't even see who hit him. <laughs> I ain't see him fall. I didn't see nothing. She mushed the other homie. Her husband was like, like they was jumping on his head. Like he was like shaking on the floor. Like, and I was like, damn. Hey, my nigga.